Hi everybody, this is Ebrace. Um, if I haven't scared you yet, then um, yeah, you're in for a treat. First of all, we're going to do a get ready with me, and as you can see, I have no eyebrows. Uh, I shave them. Um, I, this is just pure, natural, model-esque beauty right here. And what we're going to do is we are going to do a get ready with me slash story time. I'm going to tell you guys about the time that I lost my voice. I've never done one of these things before, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to first start with moisturizer, y'all. got to have your moisturizer. Oh my gosh, I do like the beauty gurus. I'm just going to tell you. It's L'Oreal Future E Day Lotion. Wow, it is sunny out here. So anyways, let me tell you about the story of how I lost my voice. This was like a few years ago. I had a season where I had really bad allergy attacks, like with sneeze like crazy, like sneeze one after another, after another, after another. It was insane. So it was really bad. There were like a couple allergy medicines I tried. Oh, I'm so sorry. Right now I'm putting on e.l.f. primer. Honestly, I don't think this stuff really does much or anything, but you know, we got it. So we spent the money, we're going to use it, honey. And then I got sick. Like I had like a cold or like a sinus thing. I don't know. I'm just letting the primer and everything just kind of like settle in the skin. So as I was recovering from my cold or whatever it was, I wasn't 100% normal yet, but I was like getting there and so I was starting to sink. Like, cause my cold, it was so bad, like I had kind of like lost my voice. You know sometimes when you have like a lot of drainage and everything, like I would lose my voice. But I was starting to get my voice back, I was starting to feel better, so I was starting to sing. And I started noticing when I would hit certain notes as I was singing that my voice was sounding weird. I'm using Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. I honestly don't know why everybody raves about this stuff. Like, oh man, it's so bright I can't even see what I'm doing. I don't know, people always rave about this online like as if this is like the best concealer ever. I don't know, to me it's like mediocre, it's whatever. Um, let's get some of this face going here. And then I've got this contour, LA Colors Contour Stick. Just gonna fill my nose. And then her cheekbones. And then I like this over here a little bit. Yeah, I don't know how people talk and do this at the same time. Oh, wait, wait, I'm gonna do this instead. Then I've got this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. Just put a little bit of it everywhere. My nose gets really, like basically like I have really good skin except like my nose, my T-zone area can get kind of red. But I don't usually get like pimples or breakouts thankfully. I've always been very, very fortunate in that respect. And then I'm using like a little wedgie thingy, sponge wedgie. Alright, so let me try to get back to the story. <laughs> this is hard. All you beauty gurus out there, kudos to you. I don't know how you do your makeup and talk at the same time. So yeah, there were certain lines that I would sing and like notes that I would hit. And I'm like, these don't sound the same at all. So like this one song, I had this part where I would go, um, my mind. And then another line I had was, um, the first time for everything. So when I would do like those lines, like a falsetto or whatever, when I would go into that, it would sound weird. So let me blend this in and I'll play you like what I sounded like, kind of like what it reminds me of. This is not easy. I'm sorry, y'all. The struggle be real. I had a weird sound. Uh, when I would go like, you know, those higher notes. And I'm just using my Neutrogena Mineral, Sh Mineral Shears Powder Foundation. So I was trying to figure out like what's going on. So I keep singing the, those notes over and over, which was probably bad because I just kept making it worse. I went to an ENT, ear, nose, throat doctor, because yeah, it was getting to the point where like, it was starting to actually affect my talking voice. I, like if I would laugh, I would hear it in my laugh. She did a, um, a scope. Um, not the most pleasant experience, that's for sure, hon. Huh? Okay, let me get my blush on now. Uh, this is LA Colors Blush Up. But anyways, um, she was like, yeah, that I had a hemorrhage, vocal cord hemorrhage. And she didn't know why. She couldn't guarantee if I was going to have damage or not, like lasting damage, permanent damage. But she told me to do, um, voice rest. And then to come back in two weeks and we'll do the scope again. Now, because I want like a more glowy look, I'm going to put on this e.l.f. And it doesn't even say what it is. 
eliminating something. All right, so then I, um, so I took my vocal rest very seriously, actually. I literally for two weeks did not speak. Told my job what was going on. They were totally understanding, like they're the best people ever. I'm like, can I just be off of work for those two weeks? Because it was so hard trying to work. And even though I would tell people that like, I'm not gonna be talking because I'm supposed to be on voice rest, people would still try to get me to talk, y'all. People would still ask me questions, try to get me to talk. It's like, what part of vocal rest do you not understand? So it was like so frustrating trying to work. So that's why I was just like, let me just be off because I need to rest my voice. Well, I'm actually feeling my laptop and it died on me. I'm just tired of seeing this face. A little slight irritation here. So I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Locket foundation. You know, get this little spot here. So yeah, so I went on vocal rest for two weeks. I did not talk. It was funny because one time I really had a taste for a shake. I wanted to go to Arby's. I can't go in the drive-thru because I can't talk. I literally wrote on a piece of paper what I wanted and I went inside <laughs> to order. I don't think it was really that hard, like not talking for two weeks. I'm an introvert, so I was kind of cool with it. It was fine. But the whole time, two weeks, I was so worried. Like, am I ever going to be able to sing again? Am I going to sound the same? You know, am I going to have like issues with ranges? Is my tone going to be different? All that kind of jazz. Okay, so now we're going to do eyebrows. Eyebrows, um, this is where the look starts to come together and I stop looking like an alien and I start to look like a human being. I'm using L'Oreal gel type thing. This is the work of art. I'm going to get my starting points. So I'm going to have like right here right here. I, I like to draw my own eyebrows because then I can make them whatever color shape I want. If I want them real thick, if I want them real thin. You know, you just have a lot more artistic freedom when you draw on your eyebrows, I feel like. Sorry y'all, I cannot do this mess up one then you gotta fix the other one to match they're not supposed to be twins they're supposed to be sisters right see now i look so much more like a person right let's see see we went from fugly to cute so yeah so i did my vocal rest for two weeks took it very seriously didn't utter a word pretty much and then i uh, went back to the ent ENT did the scope again. Oh, by the way, I would never do a scope again. Every time after I had the scope done, I would get so sick afterwards. Like, I would get terrible drainage on the side that the scope went down. Now we're going to do our eyeshadow. I'm using this um, Makeup Revolution London Maxi Reloaded Palette. When I went back for my two-week checkup, lo and behold, everything was beautiful. The ENT was impressed. She was like, wow, I could tell that you really, like, did your vocal rest. Like, took it seriously. And um, she said, like, everything was all healed up. I started um, talking again, obviously. But it took a while to rebuild up that, like, stamina to be able to talk for extended periods of time without feeling, like, tired. Just use, like, this light natural shade. Yeah, we're just doing a base right now. Of course, you know, I very slowly and carefully started singing again. But I would make sure, I like, I would warm up and do vocal exercises. So anyways, because the ENT could never tell me like what caused the vocal hemorrhage to begin with, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go see a vocal coach to have them just evaluate. Cause I thought, you know, am I maybe singing, like employing some bad habits and that's why I got hurt? Like what caused this vocal hemorrhage, you know? Because you hear stories of singers like getting voice, like nodules and stuff like that and because they have bad singing habits. So I was like, I'm gonna go be a vocal coach, have them listen to me sing and evaluate and just make sure, like, I have been to a vocal coach before in the past and he never said that, like, you know, that I was doing anything wrong, so I didn't think that it was my technique, but, you know, this hair is just whatever. We'll fix the hair at the end. I'm gonna go with, like, a cocoa color. I'm just kind of putting the color on the outside first. And y'all, I have hooded eyes, so that always makes doing makeup harder. All my hooded eye peeps out there, say, holla. Bring it now a little bit here, but I'm not going in the middle of the eyes. Man, I look like I know what I'm doing. Blend, 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 like they always say. This is a game changer. You gotta get one of these makeup brush cleaning little spongy things. This one's by Edgy. Right, I'm gonna take like a, nut, like a darker 
Brown. Okay, so I went to the vocal coach and I told her what happened. I told her like I had just gotten over a vocal hemorrhage. Nobody knows what caused it. The ENT cannot tell me what caused it. And I wanted to make sure that my vocal technique is okay. So she had me like sing a couple things or whatever and you know, she said like everything, like my voice sounded healthy, everything sounded good. I'm just getting like a tiny little brush and I'm gonna put like some brown like under my eyes now. She didn't hear me doing anything bad with my singing technique. I got the clear from the vocal coach to, you know, keep singing the way I was singing, do what I was doing. I think I figured out what caused the vocal hemorrhage then. I think that one, I should not have been singing so quickly after losing my voice from like recovering from a cold. Two, here's my eyeshadow so far. Okay, and now we're going to start on the eyeliner. Oh, this looks so cool. I'm going to take this NYX Professional Makeup and I'm going to put that like in my waterline. But I'm not going to put like all the way, like I'm going to only do it halfway because I don't want to close my eyes off. Model moment. Alright, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Yeah, I'm able to sing like... I, I don't think that it did any permanent damage to my voice, thank God. This is the hardest part when you have hooded eyes, y'all know this is the hardest part. Kind of messed up a little bit right here. So fleeky fly. This is by NYX Primal Color. Just a little bit to smoke out. Is that a bug out there? So some people might be like, well, if your voice is bad and it's been back, how come we've been doing instrumentals? There's a couple reasons. One, because I hate mixing vocals and people don't get my style anyway. I got tired of like working so hard and people not liking it. So I'd just be doing instrumentals. They're so much easier. So I use a couple different mascaras right now. If y'all do miss my vocals, even though I don't think y'all do, y'all complain. If y'all miss them, let me know. Going in with the other mascara now. Give me a chance to start over. Okay. So now I'm taking this. This is what was that? Hard candy. It's like this pop pigment. And I'm just putting this in the corner of my eyes. Brighten that up, man. Whoa. I can see it even with all this lighting going on. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, brighter than my future. <laughs> I'm taking this Wet n Wild. It's actually eyeshadow, but I use it for highlighter because it is, it'd be popping and locking. This is um, LA Girl Ultimate Auto Liner. Look at this. We should do like a before and after, the power of makeup. Alright, and then we gotta do the hair. In case y'all didn't know, I do wear glasses. I don't need them for up close, I just need them for far away. I gotta do something with my bangs, y'all. They got all messed up being in that thing. Alright, I will come back. Let me finish my bangs and we'll come back for the completed look. Y'all, like who she be? Who she be? Who she be? Here's the completed, completed look. We did the hair. Looking how cute my little flannel. Y'all, I just released my song, Freaking Out. Thank y'all.